Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and you are watching Agile Tester Certification. In this next tutorial, we are talking about the last topic of the chapter 2.1 and uh, that is organization options for independent testing. So from the foundation, we have already learned about independent testing within the organization. But let's see what more we have got here. So we are just brushing up the same thing that when we talk about the foundation uh, certification, we know about the degree of independence that we recommend the benefits of independent testing, which actually uh, provide the author bias and uh, the different testers are, uh, you know, uh, intentionally looking for different defects than the developer. Generally, we recommend the people who have developed it are not recommended to test it because uh, it's difficult for a person to find defects when you write something on your own and looking for defects in your own work. So we generally recommend independent test team to uh, find out the different defects uh, considering the specifications and several assumptions which are made during the uh, specification or maybe the design as well as the implementation. So when you talk about Agile at this point of time, as we have seen so far that there's something called as a development team, which comprises of developer and tester working together. And we have eliminated the communication gap. We have put them together and there's no such specific role, which is determined to any individual as a part of the development team that you are developer and these people are tester because testing is everybody's responsibility here. Even the developers can test, testers can also help developers to understand what is testing. So we are actually eliminating the independent testing team here but we have options where we can talk about so say for example generally when you talk about other agile approaches like uh, kanban and extreme programming or maybe scrum you can have options to hire an additional team of testers where you can invite them during the end of the iteration or maybe the each sprint and then ask them to do the testing for you. Maybe, you know, seven days cycle would be the development part and another three days for an independent test team to test the product. So that really adds more value from the point of independent testing concept and adds more value in finding the different defects. Maybe also as an alternative, you can also have the test team uh, for a longer duration where we can say that maybe it is not only limited to iteration, maybe you can continuously have right from the day one until the project ends. Uh, so you can have continuously an independent testing team which will be associated with the development team that is outside develop PIM team. And they will be really working on to make understand that what the testing perspective are, and maybe we are not asking the developers to test it all. So that is only to encourage the independent testing uh, uh, benefits uh, from the basic understanding of testing. And also like maybe uh, an independent test team would be required to do other non-functional levels, which a development team cannot be capable of. So what we are talking here in this particular section and this particular topic is to make you understand that though we have agile team where we say that everyone is integrated together and we do not have any such specific role which is given to any individual. Now we are trying to ignore the benefits of uh, testing team but at the same time we see the benefits of agile more than the independent testing but you have an option where you can prefer to have an additional team or maybe outside team who are generally dealing with the testing perspective but not the development team so that adds more value which is a combination of agile development features and principles plus the testing independence as well so putting it all together Yes, you have provisions to add an external team to do the job for you, which avoid the author bias and also helps you to find different defects than the developers. Of course, so that's all from this tutorial team. And that's the end of 2.1. We'll be moving to the next topic in the next tutorial. So stay tuned for that. In case you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe it. That will help you to get uh, uh, inputs on the new tutorials coming up next. And till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.